Welcome back to KP's Kingdom, Cooking with KP. And today I'm going to show you how I do these poached pears with red wine and cinnamon. Let's get on with it. So the first thing I've got is I've got two pears. I've just used a potato peeler and peeled all the skin off. And now I'm simply just going to cut these in half. Now I shouldn't need to show you how to peel a pear. It's pretty simple. It's the same as a potato or anything else that you want to peel. So I'm just going to cut those in half. I'm going to lay these in the bottom of a nice saucepan that will hold them put them straight in like that and i'm going to sprinkle over around about three quarters of a cup of caster sugar just like that and i'm just going to cover those with some nice room temperature water just like that and now let's get some aromats going half a cinnamon stick goes in and i'm going to add in two star anise now you can use aniseed seeds if you wish but star anise is the way to go. And here I'm going to add two quarters of a lemon, skin, pulp, everything, and three quarters of a cup of red wine. Use the red wine of your choice. The better the red wine, the better the flavor. We're just gonna put that lid on, and once we've worked out how to plug our hot plate in, we're gonna put that onto a nice low heat. Not too low, I'm using about a 20% mark here. And we're just gonna let those poach away. I'm gonna come back and check them every now and then. And oh, the smell of that is just amazing. So we just wanna poach those down until they're done. Just check it with a wooden skewer and you'll know. Now with all the rest of our product that we have in our saucepan, we're just gonna keep reducing that down. I've now turned that up to a 50% heat. We're going to let that simmer. I've now turned that down to about 20% at this point. We don't want it to boil. Otherwise, we'll end up with a caramel, and that's not what we want. At around about halfway through, we can remove those lemon segments. They're not really required anymore. They've done their job. They've added that nice, beautiful, zesty flavor to our stock. And we're just going to keep reducing our liquid down. And this is going to be our little, nice, light sauce. All right, once that is reduced down, I'm gonna put a pear on a plate, just like I'm doing there. Nice and easy, isn't it? And now, I normally don't do desserts, but this one I could not resist making for you and showing you how to do. It is really simple, it is incredibly tasty, and believe it or not, it is healthy. That alcohol does burn off. So, a little bit of ice cream, our pears are on our plate, and I'm just gonna pour over a little bit of our sauce nice and simple like that and that sauce does work absolutely beautifully with the ice cream and there you go kp's poached pears in red wine and cinnamon i'd like to see you try and make this one at home if you enjoyed watching this video and by the way i do thank you for watching it but if you enjoyed it hit that like button gives me confidence should make you feel warm and fuzzy too don't forget hit that notification bell you might be notified depending on what youtube thinks today or tomorrow as to what they want to do but more importantly, I want you to come and join the family. My family. Hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again. I'm going to go and eat my pear and ice cream and red wine sauce. I will catch you next time.